So um, I'm Julie, and I'm going to talk with. I'm going to give you an example from um, an integrative studies physical science course. But before I do that, I wanted to just mention that um, this work of aligning assessment and goals. Um, and institutional goals is something we've been doing, Kirk and Doug and I and some other people, um, to build programmatic assessments for the Integrative Studies program. So how many people here teach in ISS or IAH or ISP or ISB or ISE? Okay, all right. So if you're in those courses, you know um, that we've been doing a programmatic assessment across those courses to have students complete a survey to try to understand what's going on in those courses. You can go back and look at those questionnaires and you'll see that those questionnaires evolved directly from the institutional learning goals. So that's a case in which our institutional learning goals and our assessments are perfectly aligned, almost perfectly. Um, I want to show you a messier example within the context of a course. Um, it's a little bit cleaner than um, Jeff's example maybe, but maybe not as clean as Kirk's example, um, for Integrative Studies of Physical Science course. Mm -hmm. So the goal of this course is to basically introduce um, people who are not science majors to observing the world around them. So there's a world around you, and I, in fact, I just talked to a colleague, I won't say who, who said that outside isn't necessarily where he goes. Um, and I think of some of my students that outside is where you are when you're going from one inside to another inside. And so this course is to get people to be outside and think about the outside as a thing that's worth observing. Um, and then we have course learning goals. It's aligned with Bloom's taxonomy, so to under understand the Earth, analyze the Earth, evaluate arguments, and create new ideas or concepts about, in particular, the Red Cedar River on campus. You might have seen students down by the river with these big white poles and buckets and other things. Those are the students in this class. <coughs> so um, I wanted to do one that was maybe a little different that you might not expect for a science course. Um, I think the question of do we have to address all of these goals in our courses is a great question and my answer would be no. And in fact, in some of my courses in the upper level, I address one of the liberal learning goals and only one dimension of those goals. It depends on what I'm aiming to do. I might have a course that's entirely on communication and that's all I'm focusing on. Um, but this is a, um, a, a integrative studies course, it's, more, it's broad. And in fact, effective citizenship is one of the goals of this course. Um, so we have these institutional dimensions. Um, there is a programmatic goal, um, and to step back, some of you are teaching in programs, and those programs tend to have goals. RAC has its own goals, IH has its own goals, ISGS um, uh, has its own goals, and sometimes those programmatic goals are not well aligned with institutional learning goals because they were created at different times. Right? And sometimes your course is aligned with one or not the other. And the hard work to do here is to figure out how to get all those things to fit together or to do later is to go back and actually see what are the goals of the program that I teach in. Okay. Um, so one of the goals of, of um, the Center for Integrated Studies in General Science is to help people learn to value the efforts of scientists right? and to continue to address practical needs and, and research. And that feeds back a little bit to effective citizenship. But it misses this whole, there's a little piece in there that I add, the why is so you can make decisions, right, that as a citizen of the world. That's an added thing that the programmatic goals don't have in them, but it's sort of implicit to me as an instructor. Um, and then we have, again, those learning goals. So if we align um, our dimension of effective citizenship, again, wow, in a science course, um, and a sub-goal would be to be able to evaluate and analyze knowledge that allows for ethical um, reasoning about societal issues. This would be a course goal that aligns with that. So the course goal would be um, you can evaluate arguments and decisions made about the Earth's spheres relative to the river on campus. And the way in which we assess whether or not we address that goal is at the end of the semester the students have to teach the MSU community by setting up tables and having a presentation something about the Red Cedar River and impacts on the Red Cedar River and hey you and MSU be nice to the Red Cedar River. Um, and the thing is, this is sort of aligned, but it's not perfectly aligned, because um, the performance level is asking for um, effective decision making. And we don't really get the students quite to effective decision making. Some of them do, um, but many of them get to a place of being able to think about possibly in the future being effective decision makers. And that's OK. That's fine. Um, so, you've had three examples from three different places that hopefully help you see how you could align the institutional goals with your course goals 
And then we hope you'll get to the assessments that you're planning or are using in your courses. Um, so I'm going to go back to what Kirk, show, or what, yeah, Kirk showed you at the beginning and lead you through what you're going to be doing for the rest of the session with your facilitators.